Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Devin if you are new here. I have never received more comments about this clip in my entire existence on YouTube. And I really just want to show you guys everything that I do to make my smoothies have a nice thick consistency. So if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Let's just get into the video. first smoothie that we made today was a cacao seed butter smoothie. I don't know how, I, I don't know. This is what she looks like. Pretty interesting. But the ingredients are seed butter, banana, milk, chia seeds, cacao nibs, and ice cubes. So the way that I made this thick, which I didn't even know how I was going to make this like thicker. And it's still not as thick as I usually like my smoothies. Like you can see it's still kind of runny. But the way that I made it thicker than most, like than watery smoothies, is I just left out the ice. I think people think when they put in ice to smoothies that it will make it thicker, but it makes it waterier because the ice will melt. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. I don't really like chunks in my smoothie, which cacao nibs leave chunks. Like there's no way you can blend them enough. Let's give her a taste. Okay, so I'm going to say the taste is great. I just don't vibe with the cacao nibs. I don't know what, I don't know, like a mouthful of something soft and then like cacao nibs also mixed in there is not my vibe. Next time I will probably just put some cacao powder and that'll do the trick, but she's, she tastes good. She tastes good. I also substituted seed butter for almond butter because that's just what I like and then I added in some collagen powder and then some protein powder so she's a good little protein shake um you just have to chew a lot but she's good switch the cacao nibs for cacao powder if you guys don't like chunks in your shake like me <laughs> okay I will see you guys tomorrow bye Hello guys, we are on the third smoothie. So for today's smoothie, we are having a mango turmeric smoothie. It has milk or water, plain Greek yogurt, frozen mango, avocado, fresh ginger, and turmeric powder. I'm really excited to see how this one tastes because it's the first one without banana. And I feel like banana just overpowers anything that it's in. So we are gonna taste this one, see how it is. I don't know if I vibe with turmeric, but supposedly it's really good for you, I don't know. <laughs> Let's get on to the smoothie. I want to show you guys what it looks like inside of my smoothie maker right now because it is quite literally just so thick that I have to add water in there, but that's how I make them so thick. I just don't add any type of liquid, or if I have to, I add a very little amount. I thought that this was going to be a lot more like runny than it actually is because of the Greek yogurt, but it's not, so I'm going to add some more coconut water in it. Okay, now here's the moment of truth to see if it is all blended together and thick. Oh, she's thick. Okay, very thick. It's now time for the little taste test. I'm not gonna lie, I did already taste it, but let's give it a go. Okay, it's very good to me. The ginger turmeric combination is a very 
strong flavor combination. So if you don't like ginger or turmeric, stay away from this one because it, like you very much taste it. I personally love the effects of ginger. I love the taste of ginger in my smoothies. So it doesn't bother me that much, but it's very gingery. But I think ginger gives such a refreshing taste. So that's kind of what I'm getting from this one. I don't think I've been rating these, but I would rate this out of 10. I would say she's a seven. The color is not appealing, but the taste is. So there you go. outside because it's so incredibly loud in my house right now but I love this smoothie it's so good um, I'll put the instructions or the ingredients on the screen but this is probably one of my favorites I feel like I say that about every single one of them because I loved the pumpkin one and I can't even remember the first two that I had but this one and the pumpkin one are definitely number one tied for number one and I don't usually like blueberries at all there's someone walking down there i don't usually enjoy blueberries because i feel like it's hard to get them blended and this the blueberries with the chia seeds i felt like it was going to be hard and that there were going to be chunks and there's like little chunks but if you blend it enough you can blend them like fine enough that it's not an issue but you can see like maybe some little chunks in there 100 percent will make it again Today is the last day of smoothies and I thought I would show you guys my all-time favorite if you have been on my channel for any amount of time. I feel like you would know what this recipe is. I went to pull out the spinach and it expired November 22nd and it is now December 4th. So we didn't have any spinach in this smoothie but that is what I usually put in it and I'm gonna do a little taste test. I've never tried it without the spinach because I don't know, I just put it in all of them, but here goes nothing. She's still good, she's still delicious. If you don't like ginger, you should definitely leave out the ginger. I also usually put cinnamon in this. I don't know how, I forgot it, but she's really good. Love this little smoothie. All right guys, that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I had such a fun time trying all of these smoothies. I would say all of them are amazing. Definitely try any single one of these that I put in this video. So I'm gonna finish drinking my smoothie and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.